What is going on guys, Harry here, and welcome back to another So Rare video. In today's video, we are going to be previewing my lineups for game week 193. But right now, we're going to just pop over and look how I got on uh, for game week 192, which I made my first So Rare video about earlier on this week. And yeah, then we'll get into game week 193 after this and, and my lineups for that game week. It's Sunday evening as I'm recording this, so all the games have, um, have completed for this game week. Um, for those who are in my team, the game week itself hasn't completed. Obviously, it's still, still live for another day. Teams didn't do too great, to say the least. So, first of all, we'll have a look at our global D4 team. So, yeah, 100, uh, 173 points. Um... Yeah, the Osaka boys didn't do much, and um, they lost 2-1, well, the other team scored 90th minute, um, so that wasn't really ideal, but that didn't really change much in terms of their scores, they're just very, very basic scores this week. Obviously, a DMP here at the top, a Peter Zul uh, for Istanbul didn't even get off the bench, I knew it was a risk playing him. First time I've ever played him. Yeah, had other options looking back, but, you know, I just went for it, didn't pay off. Um, it happened. And then Ricardo Pepe down here didn't score against Kansas City. They lost 2-0. So, yeah, disappointing for, for D4. No, no F threshold. Uh, finished uh, 5,200. Global D4 was looking good at some point. First of all, Kalonga got 58 points for me um, in his debut for Arsenal, which was decent. That was on Friday night. Then Javain Brown ended up, well, he was on 75 points until Opta. Um, decided to do what they do and and downgrade his score. Um, but yeah, ended on seventy five point seven two for me, including the the XP bonus. But yeah, he had a real good game against San Jose Earthquakes. So I was looking good at some point in in the uh, in under twenty three D three D four sorry, and then Tuavekin was my captain. Kind of was counting on him to get a goal. He didn't. Uh, they lost two one. And then today, Etienne Green drew two all with Lens. Decent score, to be fair, after conceding two. And then Kevin Paredes um, played against Nashville. Again, respectable score for, for no uh, goal or assist. But, yeah, finished on 280. Nowhere near it in, in D4. D3, Lafond absolutely smashed it for me. Clean sheet against Mets. 80 points. Unreal, to be fair. Doku had an absolute stinker. Got brought off after, like, the 70th minute. Started the game, to be fair, but... Yeah, really, really poor from him today. Arson played on Saturday. Again, didn't do much. Finished on 40 points. Isaac Lihaji, a bit frustrating. He probably should have started, but I think Nice won. I think they beat him 5 0. Yeah, 4 0 in the end um, against Leo. Leo have been a shambles so far, so hopefully he can start next week. And my dilemma of whether uh, Zaydu Youssef should have started or not, because as you can see, I only ran one Super Rare in here, and I, I do have more under 23 Super Rares. Uh, but I was scared that Zaydu Youssef wouldn't start because he wants to leave St. Etienne. Well, you guessed it. He started, of course. Um, and then Tangai Nianzu, Kwasi, whatever you want to call him, uh, Friday night did not play at all against Gladbach. I anticipated him starting versus, uh, against, um, or in, instead of Sule. Um, but it was Upamen Kano and Sule that started. So very frustrating there. So my captain didn't get any points. And then Global D3, which was, I wouldn't say looking good, but at some point we had um, Patrick Schick played first on Saturday morning, didn't do anything really, but just under 50 points was respectable with, with the uh, bonus. Then Daniel Saloy ended up scoring for Kansas City, um, which kicked us on a little bit, that was Saturday night, um, so I had these two at some point, and we were looking okay. Um, I needed Sakamoto in the early hours of this morning to do something, he did not. And then today, Leon ended up losing 3-0, which is why Anthony Lopez has two decisive um, points there for, for error leading to goal and three goals conceded. But he ended up on 40 points, so he, he ended up doing really well in that sense. And then Dubois with seven, nearly 77 points, including my um, XP bonus, and with no decisive score. So very good scoring, to be fair, considering he's a defender and they conceded three goals, but... Yeah, not enough really. I need more from Sakamoto and, and for sure Schick. 
to, to even challenge for anything there. And then lastly, challenge at Europe, which was my best effort, to be fair. Um, the Zenit boys played today. They ended up drawing one all, conceding a late, late penalty. As Moon won the penalty for me, to be fair, I can't believe he's not taking penalties for Zenit. But yeah, <laughs> that's not what I'm here to, to rant about, I guess. But yeah, ended up winning the pen, so ended up getting a decisive score of of uh, 60 and, and ended on 81 with the captain's bonus. Wendell, pretty good score considering he, he had no goal involvement of, of 59 with, with the bonus. And then Douglas Santos had a real good game. That's 72 points without a clean sheet as well. Um, and then Daniel Fomin ended up playing in this game week. I've opted not to play him for the last two, stupidly. Um, play him this week. He ended up getting a really good score considering he didn't do anything in, in the sense of any goals or assists. Um, and then where I got let down was Anthony Anton Shunin ended up scoring an own goal, which is just ideal, isn't it? Ended up on, on 19 points. But yeah, 308. At one point, I was on 320 with the Douglas Santos clean sheet before they conceded last minute. And then if, I know it's ifs and buts, but if Shunin did have a decent game, you could have added a little 40, 50 points on that. Would have ended on like 370. I don't even know if that was enough to get me anything. Probably wasn't. I'll have a look now. Scroll down to here. What would 370 get me? Jesus, the scores were very hard today. 370 doesn't even get you in the top 50. 370 would have got me 60th place. Okay, I would have got a card in that sense if if those things happened, but they didn't. Loads of ifs and buts, but it is what it is. We've skimmed over uh, game week 192 and, and my results. Let's just get into the teams that I'm running for the upcoming game week for midweek games. So I haven't been able to even field a team for the last few midweek game weeks, but I can this week, which is good news. So I'll show you my global all-star team first. We don't have a goalkeeper, um, so I've just put Essie and Green in goal for the sake of it. But we do have four players hopefully playing for their team. So we have Javain Brown. He's playing against Austin FC. I suspect he starts. I can't guarantee it, but I'd like to think he does after his performance on the weekend. We are finally being able to use Lorenzo Pellegrini. I think they're playing in the Conference Cup, or European Conference, whatever you want to call it, um, against Transonspor. Going to captain him. Also run Daniel Saloy. He's been great for us since we got him as a reward a week ago. Um, they're playing Portland. And Ricardo Pepe is home to Seattle. I'm not expecting much from him there. Seattle, a real good team, but you know if he can grab a goal in order to assist, that would be great. I'm just designing this team just to win me the F threshold. I've got four players running. If we can hit the the 205 points, is it for the 0.01 Ethereum, the the lower threshold, then great. If not, we take it on the chin and we go again. Um, and then my most exciting team, I guess, because I have a goalkeeper. Um, is my global under 23 D4 team in goals? Well, I'm running a bit of a, a Shakhtar stack here in in Trubin, Dodo, and Mykon. They're playing Monaco away um, in the Champions League qualifier. Do I think they're going to win? Well, the bookies seem to think they're not going to, but you know I do rate Shakhtar. I think I think they got a decent chance. I don't think Monaco are, are crazy good, but. There will be a difference in, in quality, obviously, between the Ukrainian League and the French League. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, just nice to be able to field a, a full team, I guess. And especially in the global under-23s, because there can't be many goalkeepers playing uh, this game week, apart from the MLS keepers and, and Trubin. But um, yeah, alongside them, we've got Kevin Paredes. Uh, they're playing against New England. Yeah, not expecting the, the world from him, but hopefully he starts and, and does something. And then Jeremy Doku here. Playing against Rosenberg, um, again in the Conference Cup, I think. Look, he didn't have a great weekend. I'm hoping they stick with him. I'd like to think they do. Um, I can see him causing damage against a team like Rosenberg, but I just got to hope that they, they pick him, really. But um, even if he comes off the bench and does something. But yeah, this is my team for Global under 23s, D4. I've captain Dodo. Um, I, I hope, I'm just praying the Shaq to get a clean sheet, basically, and... And, and possibly nick nick the game. But um, yeah, going with a Dodo as captain. I was going to go Doku, but I'm just scared that he might not even start. So yeah, right now there's 558 participants in Global Under 23 D. Um, and yeah, top 66 get prizes. So I mean, that's going to grow in, in terms of participants. But yeah, 
there's a, there's a decent chance of of winning something if you've got you know five players in the running. I do. Um, so let's just hope they all start. But yeah, no guarantees at all. But yeah, that's the teams I'm running, and obviously the rest are going to be training teams. But yeah, pretty excited. Uh, like I said, I have not been able to field a team midweek since forever. So it's very nice for me to be able to use my Shakhtar boys. Their first games against Genk were not covered by Opta. So the last two game weeks, midweek, I could have you know put a team in probably because I had um, the Shakhtar boys. But yeah, Opta decided not to... To score those games so that means they won't be scored in so in that sense so a little bit frustrating but like i said that they, they are they are being scored this week against monaco so yeah i'm excited let me know your teams um let me know if you're excited for this game week and yeah if you did enjoy this video guys please leave it a thumbs up it does mean a lot to me and if you are new to my channel welcome and and yeah welcome on board and i shall see you guys in the next video